Hello everyone, it's Carrie Bradford and the, I thought I'd show you a fun and unique way to make a shape using characters or dingbats that you may have available to you. Now there are, you know, there's another way that you can do this, um, you know, using the rotate tool, but I thought this was kind of a fun and unique way to do this. So let's just get started and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. What I've done is I've gone ahead and I've chosen a Gil Sands Ultra Bold font. I want my text size at 144 point and my character spacing and line spacing set at 100%. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to click and then I'm going to um, type five exclamation points. And as you can see, these exclamation points are attached, you know, the, the top and the bottom are attached to it. That's why I chose this font is because it kind of gave me the shape that I wanted already, just kind of something fun. So now what I want to do is I want to draw a circle that is about the size of the bottom of the exclamation point. So I'm going to grab my circle tool and I'm going to start in the upper left, hold down my shift key, click and drag and make a circle about that size. So now you can see we have our circle and then I'm going to double click on those exclamation points and I'm going to grab this tool and as we click and drag it over that line you're going to see that is going to adapt those exclamation points to the path of the circle. So if you look, you can see it just automatically starts putting them around. Now I want to change my character spacing down a bit so that we can get the rest of those exclamation points in that circle area. So there's number four and there is number five. So that is, let's make sure that we get that spacing just a little bit better. Okay, let's try 37%. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Sometimes it takes a little bit of fiddling. That's why this one isn't, you know, an exact um, way to do this. A ro using a rotate tool would be better. But um, again, this is just for fun. Um, let's take this slider now, and as we slide down this bar, these exclamation points are going to come in closer to each other. So if I click on here, start dragging it down, you can see they kind of go start going into the inner part of that circle. I'm just going to get it to about where I like it, maybe about right there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on that, right click and choose weld. And now you can see we've made a cute little flower, which is just kind of, you know, just a fun, like I say, a fun and unique way to be able to do that. It kind of looks a little bit like a propeller too. So anyway, that's just kind of a fun way to make a cute little shape. So now I'd like to show you just how you can make a cute little sun using that same principle that we just learned. And I'm just going to kind of maybe slide this little flower out of here. And I'm going to get my text tool, and I'm going to get the Franklin Gothic. Let's do the heavy. All right, I'm going to grab my text tool again, and I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a bunch of exclamation points, and you can see they're kind of already together. Um, I'm going to maybe just increase that character spacing just a little bit, just so I can see them better. And I'm going to get my circle tool and draw about, oh, let's go about 1.34 inches. Then I'm going to click on my exclamation points and drag them over that line. And you can see I have a whole bunch of things. And you can see it's going to start making a cute little sunshine. Let's just check our character spacing here. See, make sure that we've got, um, well... Let's, um, I think I want to add some more exclamation points. So I'm just going to come in here and just start adding them. And then you can see that kind of takes it just about all nice and even round. There's just a tiny bit of space here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move them in closer first. And then I'm going to adjust and make sure I'm where I, where I want to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this little slider and move them down so that they kind of get within that circle. Well, let's make it about there instead. And you can see there's just a little bit. So I'm going to change that character space. I'm going to change it to 36 and see what we get. Oh, that didn't work out very well. 40. Let's try 39. No. Again, sometimes it's just a matter of just getting it just in the right spot. Yeah, 40. Let's see what happens if I slide it back out. Just a little bit. No. 
I guess that's just what we're going to have to deal with. It's not really an exact science. Sometimes you can't get it exactly how you want to. It's it's kind of better to use the rotate tool, but that's something that I teach in my just class at jessicasprague.com. So we're just going to go ahead and leave this like this. So I'm just going to select out of the area, and then I'm going to draw another circle. And just kind of click and drag, and just kind of make it extend to where I know it's going to go and grab all of those. And I'm going to go ahead and choose both of them, come to the Align window and press Center so that our circle is centered within all of those shapes. And now I'm going to right click and choose Weld. And now you can say we, see we've made a cute little sunshine. And if you want to, you could go ahead and make another shape to go over it. So you could have like, let's go ahead and choose this and choose our fill color. Let's make it yellow and grab the inner circle here and make it a lighter yellow. So there you go. See, we've kind of made this cute little sunshine. So that's just some fun things you can do using the character tool and type on a path tool with, you know, your dingbats or other fun little characters within um, your character set. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this fun little tip.